Hey guys, it's JJ here, and welcome to the first episode of how to make a game inventory system in Unity 5. So, we'll start off, so in the first episode we're actually going to sort out the scene, sort out the hierarchy, get this all ready and prepped for the inventory that we're going to be building. So, this is all customizable to your liking, what you want is all totally up to you. Um, this is just the way I do it. Again, it's all to you. So, in the hierarchy, we're just going to start off by making a UI panel. Whenever you make a UI, any UI object, it's always going to make a canvas and an event system, unless you already have those in the hierarchy. So, we're going to just name this panel inventory. Okay, and just make sure you click enter to save the, um, the rename. So I'm just going to make a new UI panel. This is going to be called the slots. And this actually um, is just a placeholder basically for the, the individual slots. And so now in this one, we're actually going to make another panel. And this, we're just going to rename slot slot um space zero just like that because when you duplicate them when you um, make new ones here I'll just show you so if you click, click control D it'll always make slot and then add a number see if this was renamed slot just slot like this and then I duplicate it no oh, I need it Enter. There we go. And then I duplicate it. Delete these. See if I duplicate it now, it's gonna make one slot one. So I just make it to make it look better instead of having slot and then slot one to all the way to twenty or how many, however many you want. I just like to do it this way. this okay so now in slot actually first we'll just we'll just um organize this so inventory in the scene we're just gonna come over I'm gonna do actually the inventory can stay the same that's all right we'll go to slots and we'll just change this one a little bit so this is where your um, individual slots are gonna be and inside of the slots are gonna be items so this is it looks pretty good to me there you go and now inside this is the slot zero so this okay so when we get to slot zero we're gonna actually come over here hit the anchors button and if you look in the min y we're gonna change it to one and then the max x we're gonna change that to zero that'll just bring up the width and the height we need these values to change so we'll just change this to 75 by 75 and so this is going to be the size of our slots okay so we're just going to drag this over a little bit and one more okay and so now if you look at the game view this is what it looks like it looks pretty good Okay, so now inside slot, we're going to create a UI image. And so this image is actually going to be 50 by 50. So you can make the slots, um, you can change what the slot looks like just by changing this source image right here, this background image. You can change it to anything you'd like. Some of these, these are just the ones that they come with, the Unity comes with. So I just use background for now. And so for your image, you're just going to change this image to item, rename it to item. Okay. And so now, um, I made some sprites just for this tutorial. You can um, just go to Google and... Um, search item sprites and it should bring up a whole list of different sprites you can just um, 
save and then cut over here. Um, so I'll just use these ones for now. I'm just going to go over in the item where it says sprite image and drop that in there. And you'll see it pop up in the where the sprite is. So now if you play it, you won't see anything. There's not going to be really anything special going on. No hovering, no nothing. So one of those reasons is because we haven't set up the camera yet. So the camera, we're just going to drag this underneath the canvas. So the camera has to be in the canvas. So we're going to reset the position to 0 by 0. Make sure you have your Z at negative 10 or else the, the mouse over functions and the mouse enter functions will not work in the scripts. So just make sure you have it at Z negative 10 and make sure also that you have your projection at orthographic. So now if you look the cameras this little box right here and this is the canvas. Well it won't work if the if the camera is super small. So we're actually going to drag this and make it bigger. And the precise size that you want is just 20 uh, 229. So just set it at that and it will be all set. Okay. So we got the camera set, we got the inventory basically set. So now what we can do is we can um, put some box gliders. So on slot 0, we're actually going to come over here, click add component, physics, box glider. Why we're not doing uh, a 2D box glider is because we need the Z direction. With a 2D box glider, all you have is X and Y. So we're just going to set the size exactly at the exactly at the same size as the width and the height so 70, 75 by 75 and for the slot we can just set the Z to like 3 or something like that it doesn't really matter it just it can't be this, the um, above the size of the item so the item we're gonna add another <coughs> gonna add another um, box glider same uh, non 2D and then this is gonna be 50 by 50 and this we're just going to set to 10 because um, we need to be able to grab the item without, without uh, having to um, collide with both the slot and the item at the same time we have to be able to grab the item while the items in the slot and so if they were the same size you know, I'll just switch over to 3D if they were the same size see that's the box, box slider right there if they were the same size, see the slot, the um, the engine wouldn't be able to tell what you're dra uh, grabbing. So you might be touching the slot and the item at the same time, so it won't register. So just make sure that you set your slot at something below 10. I like to set it at like 3 or 5, it doesn't matter. but it just can't be the same as your item. So now, with that all set, see, that's pretty good. Okay, so now we can switch back over to 2D. Okay, and now all we need to do now is just add the scripts, and I'll actually show you that in the next episode. Thanks for watching.